Hello, folks. Time for another video. And shave. Most definitely. Plenty of scruff, scruff, scruff. Yeah, I've just been super busy, like, lately. Doing all these repairs and upgrades to the house. As per my wife. She's cracking the whip. Anyway, so I figured to tell you, you know what? I really need to shave because I'm starting to get itchy in my area where you're getting grown hair so i was kind of in a bay rum mood today i don't know why it's just been the weather here has been crazy it's been hot some days cold some days hot some days it's nice and sunny today a little chilly this morning but <clears throat> i think it's gonna be a nice warm day it's like uh yeah around noon and uh so anyway getting back to my bay rum Dilemma. I was like, which bear am I going to use? I have so many. But I was more in a sweet bay rum kind of mood. So, hey, why not go for the old Zingari Nomad? This is one of my favorite bay rum scents. Because it's more of that sweet bay rum. Mm. I've had this over for a long time. I think I've had it now for over two years. Um, it's actually my second container of this nomad now it's sweet bay lime and well i'm blind and rum duh so it's sweet bay lime and rum i'm so duh -y. anyway you'll see it right there on the label now this is heather's original vegan formula this isn't the new sago base or even the new vegan base this is the older her original formula which i love it great scent it's reminiscent of that just great bay rum but with a nice little sweet hint on it great stuff i already have it whipped up in the timeless bowl today and i'm using the craving shaving brush kind of keeping the theme you know green today with the container because zingari's containers were green <laughs> i know they've changed colors now and i'm also using the razor rock eco today with that pack of wood putali handle. Still keeping it green. And blade in there. Too. You know what? Let me go with the blade that was shipped with the razor when I bought it. When I bought the razor from Italian Barber. I think it was. Uh, I forget how much the razor was. I think it was $29. And they sent you a hundred half DE crown blades already you know, in half for you. You don't have to snap them in half. Yeah, I'll go with that. I know some people don't like those blades, but I find those blades pretty good. And I have about a week's worth of growth. So let's see how that does. So let's wet the face. My shirt is super light today in color. So it's going to look like it took its, its own shower today. But whatever. Alrighty. Some nice Zingari Bay Rum. Nomad. This was my first Zingari soap I ever owned. And I actually owned it before it was Zingari. It was her original company. When the soap was called Sexy Beast. Which I have that original container around here somewhere. I love the scent of the soap. In fact, I remember years ago when one of our fellow Facebook buddies, Mr. Jeremy Blankenship, shaved with this soap for an entire month. I actually still have two bars of the original Sexy Beast version bath soaps. Which I should have pulled out for today's shave, but they're actually in a container in my bedroom, so. 
not gonna go try to run and dig that out right now. So anyway, we're gonna go with the Nomad. The old sexy beast. All right, Razorak Eco Crown Blade and Putali Handle. I haven't used Nomad soap, I mean, uh, Zingari soaps in a while. Just have so many soaps that I have to get through. <laughs> Trying them out and you know. I really like the the feedback that the eco or echo or however you like to pronounce the name of this razor, I call it the eco. It's a great price and comes in a few colors. If this ever comes out in a stainless version, stainless steel, I will be all over it. I know that there's the Razor Rock Hawk, but I like the Eco because it takes half DE blades, which I have thousands of, and I don't have to go out and purchase special artisan club blades for. That's what really attracted me to this razor. And especially the first time I think I really seen it being used when Jimmy from NYC wet shaving he used it because I think you mentioned the price and it came with blades and I was like I should jump all over that. Great feedback on this razor, too. I find it to be one of the better razors for under the nose. Has that nice slimline head. Gets right in there. It's great. All right. I think that was a mighty fine first pass. And wow. It actually, if I had to run out the door right this second, I would be fine with that because that's a pretty good first pass. That's a really good first pass, actually. And with this awesome Nomad scent. The Smitten Soapery. That's what their first name when I became with this when I became familiar with this scent when it was called Sexy Beast by the Smitten Soapery. I think that's going back three years or so. Heather never watches my videos anymore because I'm just a little fish, but. <laughs> and her business took off. So, but I was using the soap when it was the Smitten Soapery. And it was called Sexy Beast. Now it's called Nomad. Mm hmm. Very nice, very nice. Love that scent. I'm glad the scent has never changed. It's one of my favorites from the start. It's a little reminiscent to me. Like, I think of uh, Katie's Bubbles, Barnegat Bay, which is a close 
accent profile to this one. Not exactly like a, like spot on, but it's close. Like if I had my eyes closed and I had a smell, Katie's Bubbles, Barney Gabay, and uh, Nomad from Zingari, it would be kind of a close race as far as which one to pick. But what I like about the Nomad is it has a little more of that sweeter beer rum scent. And the performance is awesome. I really do love the feedback of this razor. It sounds like nice sandpaper. <laughs> wow, it feels, that feels pretty nice. I have a little bit in my usual spots. Just a little bit there and a little bit there. So let's hit that up. On the jawline. I'll tell you one thing, it's been super windy here lately. I've been having to go out and bringing our American flag and my wife has a welcome to spring flag outside and it's been pretty windy out there lately. All righty, let's empty the old sea monster sink. It is very fuzzy today. Ah, the sea monster is definitely Got the whiskers happening today. All right, let's do a little cold water rinse. I got two little, looks like two little whiskers coming off. I think I'll survive. Trying to keep my shirt from getting totally soaking wet. I'm kind of hanging in the sink. Sorry, I'm out of frame. <laughs> All right. Wow, this sea monster, aka Sigmund, has lots to say today. And of course, I got the counter soaking wet. Got the Lancaster towel here, by the way. Just wanted to kind of pick it up so I didn't get totally soaking wet. Even though, who cares, right? Alrighty. So to recap that real quick, that was Zingari Nomad. Great scent. And I used the Craving Shaving Brush today. Did I put that the right way? Craving Shaving by Mr. Charles. We got an awesome uh, That Darn Rob Fantrurian knot in here. My buddy Josh sent me this whole setup. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate that. And I used the Razor Arc Eco today. So you can see the blade in there with the Putali Paco wood handle. And blade that I used in there today was the Half Crown Blade that actually came with that razor when I ordered it from Italian Barber. Great stuff. All right, now to finish off this awesome shave. Actually, let me give this a shake because I haven't used this in a while. 
Going to go with some Nomad Aftershave Balm. For me, the Zingari Bombs are phenomenal. If you're using a Zingari Bomb that is scented, like this is the Nomad, it matches the soap perfectly. And there is lots of goodies in here. I will, of course, always leave the link for the products below in the description. One of my favorite things about this bomb is it goes on nice. It doesn't go on greasy. And it soaks in. And when it dries, and when it kind of soaks in and dries, you don't get that, like, pasty feeling in your skin. Your skin just feels nice and refreshed. All right. Awesome deal right there. So that was the matching aftershave bomb. Nomad from Zingari. Good stuff. All right, folks. So hopefully it won't be... I don't know. I'm so busy around here lately. So many projects and things to be fixed because it's now springtime. So, hopefully I'll get a shave maybe in a couple days or so. So, if you enjoyed today's Zingari Nomad Shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, psh, crash and burn, Glenn. <laughs> thumbs down on it. And, please subscribe to my channel. You guys are awesome. Love your comments and your support. And, anyway, stay safe out there because we're still with this coming to an end with this virus stuff, so... Stay safe out there. And until next shave, Glenn signing off. Mm -hmm.